So Lily, I bet you heard from the commotion last night. Our base got uh, pretty trashed and it sounds like we have some visitors here too. I'll go take care of them, don't you worry. You just stand here and be cool and uh, enjoy living. So we got some cool things last night. Uh, we did get ourselves a level 43 AK-47 machine gun, Lily. We're going to switch that out with the mods from this one here if we can, add some mods to it. And... We now have 120 skill notes. We can go ahead and make that uh, blank class paper. So we're going to be making one of those. In order to do that, I need one more uh, black ink. And in order to make black ink, you need water, uh, blue dye, red dye, and yellow dye. We only had one uh, yellow dye kicking around. So uh, at least we can make the fourth to make those skill notes. So that black ink is key. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, we can make that in the chemistry station. It's the cheapest there. But unfortunately, we don't have one yet. But that's okay because there's one right across the way in the top of that one building we went and looted earlier. Uh, so I'm going to head over there, Lily, and uh, we're going to make the ink and then we're going to come back and uh, make ourselves a blank class paper. You know what we got to do? We got to take this uh, battery off of this iron crossbow. I've been switching out my AK-47 machine gun. So it sounds like we have some companies, so I'm going to take them out with this. We'll have some practice. Uh, this will be a very fun to use. Just a tip here. Um, I, I couldn't find out where the modifier was. I looked in here. I was like, where the hell did the modifier go? Because the recipes showed up. You could build these cool things called uh, upgraded turrets. We're going to take a look at those, too. Glad I found that out. But to actually modify it, you're going to need to put that in your uh, tool belt. And then click on modify. There we go. Oh, throw a battery up in there. Look at that. Base damage is 95. And I have a chance to uh, electrify them, which is pretty damn sick. Uh, so we're going to uh, head out here today too at some point. I still got to make the uh, black dye and uh, we're going to make the class notes. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to head out today. We need to get ourselves some coal because we need to be able to make ammo. And I finally found the burnt biome up here. We uh, found it near this tower last time. So we're going to head up that way uh, eventually here. But I got to run across the street and get that ink together. See that house right there right up at the top? Uh, conveniently... There is a uh, table up there. We can actually see it from there. Chemistry station, right from here. Cool. Uh, I'm actually going to put together some ladders so I can actually get in and out of there quite easy. Well, it sounds like uh, our friends have perished. Does not sound like they are uh, around at all anymore. Ooh, we got some loot. Looks <laughs> looks like our uh, battered base here still took care of them. Nice. So those spikes will take care of wandering hordes if I don't feel like messing around with them. Okay, so uh, I'm going to make a way up to here and I'll see you guys up there. We'll make some ink. There we go. Chemistry station. So we should be able to make black dye in here nice okay uh i gotta put some fuel up in here there we go uh it takes 15 seconds oh nice that doesn't even take very long sweet i'll see you guys back at the base and uh we'll get together uh we'll get together those skill notes to make the blank class paper it's gonna be pretty sick oh the a is missing off the never play alone <laughs> that's awesome Ah, oh, look at our garden from here. That looks cool, too. Um, Lily, by the way, survived in the other room. She didn't fall through the floor, so we're going to keep her there for a while. There we go. Got the quill made. We got, uh... Oh, that's black dye, damn it. That's not black ink. Oh, no. What did I just do? Okay, so apparently we cannot make the black ink, though. I don't see it in there. What was I thinking? Uh, black dye is expensive in itself. Where is our black ink stashed? Ah, up here in high value. It's just ink. Uh-oh. Crafting area, campfire, chemistry station, tool, cooking pot. Uh, my bad. I think I just pulled a big stupid there. And... Ink. Oh, we needed the black dye. Ha! Look at that. That worked out. We just need two eggs and a uh, jar of honey to whip that up in that station. Cool, let's go do that. Couple of eggs kicking around, which is really good. And of course, a jar of honey, which we should keep on us anyway. I can't wait to try out this new gun, too. Oh, there we go. There we go, there's a couple over here. Let's fire them up. What's up? 
Oh, my, I messed, oh, this must be a wandering horde. Oh, that's sick. Okay, it's going to take me, uh, I think, a, a few minutes to kind of get used to this. Uh, how much room do we have for uh, left for mods on this thing? I think I filled it up on four slots. I did. Damn it. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, barrel extender. Ooh. Let's actually take that off. I think I think I didn't like the performance of that. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go and make that. We'll check out how I do without it. There we go. One ink on the way. Three seconds. And nice. I now have ink. My fourth ink. <laughs> this is sick. I can't wait to learn it. Uh, we're going to be learning the mechanic class. That way I can um, make a way better turret for us because we need the JT in our lives. And it also unlocks vehicles, which we uh, we need. We're still uh, no no insult to Guff Guppy, but your card ain't cutting it anymore, buddy. Uh, we gotta ex ex retire that thing sooner than later. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go up to the top here because I actually put this thing down for Lily. You know what? Poor Lily has nothing to write with now. Uh, let's go ahead and pick this up, and I'm going to drop it down beside Lily so she has something to do. And it looks like our farm is actually grown. Nice. I'll have to come up here at some point and fix this up too, so uh, we'll have to check that out at some point. So much to do. So much to learn. Oh, these are trees! That's what we got going on over here. Now, um... I was under the impression that trees needed water, but maybe they don't. We're going to take one of these seeds, plant it outside of the base, and see what happens. If that's the case, we'll just make ourselves a tree field or something over there. That would be nice. And use this just for our garden stuff, because um, why waste it on trees, right? But you can apparently grow them in huge bunches. Like, this is full of trees right here. That's insane. I'll spread them out if we have the room, if we can plant them below. But uh, that's kind of cool. Our trees are starting to grow. Look at them. We can start making farms and stuff hopefully soon, too. Here you go, Lily. Something for you to do. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to use this for a moment, if you don't mind. Uh, what do we have here? Oh. Was I looking at the wrong recipe? I was. We didn't need that many. Um, I need to go grab one more ink. Wow, that whole thing, whole first part of this episode about making that ink, and uh, we didn't need it because I didn't look up the writing book recipe for it. I always forget that about this mod, but that's cool. We have uh, more than enough on us. Uh, I'm going to go grab that second ink and get that going. There we go. We actually have enough ink now for a whole nother one, uh, a whole nother bundle of skill notes, which is cool. Because as we unlock more and more things, I'll be able to get more of these notes. Uh, we're learning a lot right now. So uh, anyway, let's get that going. Two minutes and five seconds. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, actually, I'll turn these into seeds and go plant them in the garden. And this should be done by the time we get back. So making them in the uh, mortar and pestle. I've been corrected on the pronunciation of that. Anyway, um, they're a lot cheaper in here to make the seeds. So uh, if you uh, have it... Go ahead and make one. They're really cheap. Actually, uh, how much did they, they cost? Let's actually check that out. Yeah, it's like 30 clay. Not a big deal at all. All right, go and plant these seeds. We got six pota uh, potato seeds. So it looks like we'll be multiplying our gardens very quickly here. Ooh, what I could do... Do we have a completely sealed off uh, section? I'm going to make a, uh, a section here of plants in this 3x3 uh, three three area. And see if it pulls water from those corners. See if that works out. So as it turns out, I actually cannot make pumpkin seeds. I have to have living off the land. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's funny. Uh, so our book should be done by now. Let's go visit Lily here in her uh, book table. There we go. We got a blank class paper. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at recipes. And we wanted to do the uh, class mechanic. Uh, oh, apparently I have to do this by hand. Whoops, let's do this. Recipes, class mechanic. There we go. Takes one second. Bang. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this. Nice. Class quest mechanic one is six. Knowing how to repair things and scavenge broken appliances for usable parts is going to provide invaluable in the coming days. Get some basic tools together and uh, start taking everything apart. All right. Well, it's going to ask us to do some basic stuff here. Uh, so I'm going to get through the first few. Uh, we'll go outside here and... Oh, wait. 
I can do this for my uh, my storage. What am I doing? Okay, and that gave us uh, some crappy clothing, but I will take the dye out of here. I'll keep the red dye, and uh, we'll use the orange, and we'll scrap it for paint. Okay, so it's going to ask us to gather iron, so let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> nice and easy. Oh, and now we got to uh, take apart a car. Well, take apart several cars. Oh, we've gone through that one too. Find a car battery and a small engine. Oh, okay. So, apparently, it knows uh, that I've already gone through a few cars. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, we're going to go to components here, and we should have a battery. Yep, and a car engine. There we go. Beautiful. And we got some uh, chicken rations and some water out of the deal. That's special. Repair a wrench. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. That's nice and easy. Uh, we have a few kicking around. Here we go. Uh, modify, repair. We cannot because... Where's my repair kits? Ah, here's some. There we go. I must accidentally uh, put them away. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, repair that stupid wrench. There we go. <laughs> they gave us a level one. We'll scrap it. Gather mechanical parts, gather electrical parts. Nice and easy to do. We should have a ton of those around. 319 mechanical. And how about electrical? Those always hide in a different area. There they are. Nice. So we are now officially a mechanic. That was actually a really easy quest line. So we have four uh, skill points available. Let's go ahead right over to uh, Mechanic here and check out what we got. We got Salvage Operations. Uh, we got Grease Monkey, Turret Syndrome, and uh, Master Mechanic. Ooh, it's 10 points, so unlock the Steel Wrench. Uh, what's a Steel Wrench? Is that... I don't find it useful on things. Hmm, that's weird, because you can, like, bang stuff down faster with your auger. Motorbike, 4x4, and Muscle Car. What? This is sick. A 4x4? Four four? Increased crafting tier by 10 for blunt weapons and wrenches. Wow, okay. Uh, we also have turret syndrome, and this was the one I was really going for. Uh, mini bike master, and what's this here? You can craft the mechanics workbench and modded mini bikes. You can craft mini bikes and modded mini bikes. Damn, what level do you have to be for that? We haven't finished the class quest chain yet? I swear we have. Yeah, that's weird. It's, it says we have here. Class quest mechanic 6 of 6. Hmm. That must be glitched out. Oh, here we go. Salvage operations 3 on uh, 5. Master scavenger unlocks vehicle mods. So you must have to finish this first in order to get it. Uh, complete the class quest chain player level 20. I swear I have. Hmm. I hope there's a way to fix that if I'm looking at this wrong. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, do the mini bike here. And uh, we'll try modding Maniac. Let's, let's see what happens. We have two points left over and they're still locked. Oh. So you got to do this here first? He has some crazy innovative ideas, but your inflammation could use some work. Craft quality two poor turrets, deal 10% more damage, 30% fast fire rate, and reload an extra 10 rounds. Turrets active range is increased from 10 to 14 meters. You can deploy multiple turrets, uh, but only the closest will be active. Unlocks a junk turret crafting. Uh, there's uh, five levels of that too, damn. Okay, well, uh, we may as a wrench harvest. Okay, maybe this... is actually worth having a wrench when you get this up here. I was actually unaware that we actually uh, unlocked any of this. It's a little confusing at the moment, but if someone remembers here how I've done this, let me know. This is uh, this is a little weird. Uh, but this is cool here. Steel wrench, motorbike, 4x4, and muscle car recipes. This is what I really want. So that's 10 points away. Damn it. Well, I guess we may as well start our um, turret stuff here. Uh, craft uh, quality three fair turrets. 
Okay. Well, at least we didn't do them. Uh, this will make our turret a lot more useful, too. Okay, so it, it, it's saying these ones are unlocked for the same reason. So that must be what it is. I'm just reading this wrong. You just have to complete this one first in order to get that one. I get it. So there we go. We can uh, craft a level 31. Uh, what is our current uh, junk turret at? Hey. I swear I had all my stuff in here. Or is my turret sitting down below? It could it's, it could still be set up. Maybe I didn't grab it. Fingers. Ooh, no. Where could it be? Ah, here's all my other stuff. Almost had me panic there for a second. Uh, so we actually have currently a level 24. Let's go ahead and build another one of these. Okay, so looking at this here too, um, I did pick up a way higher um, machete and I put it away thinking, okay, I got to deal with that soon and completely forgot about it. Uh, so we have a level 49 machete here and we've been using the level 38. So let's go ahead and uh, switch those two out too. We're going to keep it red. So it's almost nighttime here. It's uh, 20.36. I've spent a lot of time organizing my things, getting everything ready. And um, it's almost nighttime. <laughs> I was actually, I wanted to go out and check out that biome today, but we got all carried away. That's okay, though. So I got my AK together. Uh, we got the machete figured out. We got everything good to go. Ooh, this magnum. I'm actually not going to carry that on me. I absolutely do not need it. Uh, so what we got to do now is actually make that junk turret. I also queued up a uh, wrench here too because I wanted to compare it to my auger and the amount of supplies it gives uh, because we still only have level three but I do want to see if that makes quite a difference with how many how much you get from the wrench because then that puts the wrench into play again right? Okay, so let's check out uh, where we even make the junk turret. I'm assuming it's in the uh, the metal workstation. Let's take a look here. Oh, no, it's not. It's actually in the uh, the workbench. So we're going to make this junk turret in behind. Uh, now that I think about it, we're actually going to hold off on it because it's not that much of a higher level. And our next level, we're going to throw into that anyway. So uh, what we're going to do in our forge here is we're almost out of iron. So we're going to go ahead and uh, smelt up a whole bunch more. 2,399. No, you know what? I think 500 is more than good enough. Uh, and behind that, we're going to do steel because we still need tons of that. Uh, so we're going to grab the steel. It's nighttime anyway and uh, head down to do some repairs. It looks like I may have lost a couple of uh, blade traps too, damn it. We still have a handful of uh, log wood spikes kicking around too, so that's handy. Yeah, there we go. It's not quite nighttime yet, but we should be able to go down and uh, do some basic repairs here uh, pretty safely. Okay, and here we are, and wow, look at that blade trap. It's pretty used up. That one looks like it's completely, like, dead. Holy crap, 177 health left on that thing. Barely even made it. Uh, so we did end up losing a blade trap. Whew, that one's there too. That's good. Yeah, we lost a blade trap over on this side. That's okay. Rest in peace, blade trap. You've uh, you've been good. But holy crap, like look at just the amount of block damage an easier horde knight did. Uh, because I died on horde day, which was very unfortunate. But I knew it was coming. Eventually I was going to get uh, backed up into a corner or something. It was going to happen eventually. But uh, yeah, they trashed up this base pretty badly considering. Uh, I got a lot of work, uh, repair work to do tonight. Well, it looks like our night spawn spawned in again tonight. So uh, let's get my butt up to safety here and uh, try to f pick a few of these guys off while we're at it. There we go. Let it focus a little bit and reload. Bang. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, definitely called them in, though. Hey, buddy. There you go. Ooh, look at that. I love that electricity mod. That thing is so cool. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, they're going to come right here? Okay, I can deal with this. I can literally hit your guys' heads from right here. Nice. Derpy zombies. Yeah, I love this gun. This gun is so sick. 
Oh, we got a few more. Just an easy pewter girl. There we go. Look at that, we got like four loot bags, I think, from that. That's insane. Hey. Where's this other one? Oh, he's right here. Idiot. Cool, let's check out what we got. Oh, well, we got another friend. Are we good now? Jesus. Just all random crap. That's okay, though. Loot is loot. Oh, looks like I got another friend. Hey there, buddy. What's up? Oh, he's just a rotting uh, carcass. You know what? I just call this a fast, easy kill. There we go. He runs to me instead of me running to him. That's convenient. Okay, it looks like I've got uh, most of the steel repaired here, and we still have 492 after that. Uh, the one only thing I haven't repaired is our uh, steel bars from up here, but I don't think too much damage. Yeah, no, this is like barely anything. Uh, we do have some missing blocks I have to replace, so I'm going to have to go upstairs and grab some frames. Stupid turds just don't learn. Look at that, level 64 and I have one skill point to spend. So I'm going to go ahead actually, I think. And uh, we're going to check reloading here. Oh yeah, that's right, we find it under... Ah, it's under ammo. If you search ammo, it brings up uh, reloading weekly. Uh, anyway, uh, we can, I think, get level 4 now, which does... Uh, Oh, we kind of don't need that. Okay. I thought we really needed this, but we're going to actually overlook that. And uh, we're going to do turret syndrome here. So it allows us to build a level quality four. So like 41, I believe that brings us up to. Okay, let's get some of these uh, spikes replaced up here. All right, now that I'm out of uh, log spikes here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead uh, and... Uh, why did I drink that? Whoops, my bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start making steel spikes. If we take a look here, uh, steel log spikes six. Here we go. You can actually make them out of forged steel. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that from now on. Uh, it's a little quicker just to put a, a steel log spike down and cheaper too because you don't need to put a ton of iron and a ton of wood into doing it. And it doesn't take nearly as long with the nail gun. So we're going to start making these uh, bad boys here as soon as we can uh, because we're actually, you know, we're doing okay on forged steel too. So it's 2.55. We got another in uh, another hour in game here. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, start repairing the rest of these spikes. Uh, we, of course, got to make more when we come back. Maybe I'll uh, start making the steel ones. Oh, and there we go. It's morning time. So I'm going to run up above. Whoops. Uh, put away all my construction stuff. And we're going to head off and up to the biome and start collecting some wood. I desperately need a lot of wood. Okay, I got everything I need. Let's get out of here. So one thing I do regret here on my way up north is not making a mini bike. We should have actually taken a look at doing that. That would have been, I think, uh, a lot more effective. Ah, and there's a tower, which means the burnt biome is just ahead. So I have no idea what to expect here. We might get our asses kicked, but... Um, I don't know. Look at that. A wolf and a cow just chilling out with each other. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's ignore what's going on there and uh, check out the situation here. Okay, let's take it a little bit slower. Oh, well, this looks relatively easy so far. I don't see anything too crazy going on. Uh, but what I'm going to do is actually keep my mini bike in my inventory. That way I don't have to keep coming back to it. Well, let's get cutting. Well, turret Jesus skills are upgraded, so uh, let's put this guy down and see what's going on. Ooh. TJ's pretty deadly now, even at a low level. 
That's sick. Looks like they got a lot of hit points, so. Oh, we got ourselves a bear here. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see how bad this is. Oh, yeah, we got that. Look at that. He didn't even stand a chance. This AK-47 is bad. Ass. I love it. Stupid zombie bear. Okay, so I found some oil shell here. We have a whole bunch of supplies now. Open my map. And hey, check it out. There's a wandering trader right up there. Uh, let's go check this guy out. Uh, by the way, JT is kicking some serious ass. Oh, is that him right there? Is that what we got going on? Here we go. Look at this. We actually found ourselves a uh, wandering trader. What's up, buddy? What do you have? Let's see what he's got here. This is exciting. A tool and die set. Ooh, damn. I don't think that's something we can oh, actually build either. Uh, let's take a look here. Tool and... Uh, no, it's not coming up under that. Not coming up under that. Okay, we're going to buy that from the trader. The tool and die set. I think that's something we're going to need right away. Because uh, it's for munitions, right? Anyway, let's let's buy it. <laughs> we, have, uh, we have some Duke's Casino tokens on us here. Uh, I guess I could sell these. I'm not even going to bother taking the crap out of them. Here we go. Give us a few points. And he just has some uh, uh, random other ammo. Okay, well, at least we got a tool and die set. I kind of feel like that was a good find. Okay, so he has some calipers too. I'm almost tempted to buy them, but we're down to 2,000 uh, Duke's Casino tokens. You know what? I'm going to buy them because we got other welding torches, but calipers were something that was hard to find. I found them early game, but uh, I hadn't found a pair since then, so I'm going to buy those. Okay, cool. Well, the Wandering Trader is kind of neat. Uh, I wish I could trap him near my base, but... It is what it is, right? That's all you're okay. gonna buy. I'll let you show yourself. Yeah, so okay, let's get going here. Um I have gathered over a stack of wood here and uh oh shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, is that trader gonna kick some butt or what? What's going on here? I gotta lock the right uh drive. And I just seen those guys. Okay, that, there's a wandering horde. I don't know if you guys seen that or not. Uh, but they're running. And running real hard. I had to get out of there. Wow, that was intense. Okay, I wonder where they ended up going. Maybe they're stuck pounding on the hill. Um, is that wandering trader still alive? <laughs> that was intense. Okay, so uh, would it be a nice to actually find uh, a coal vein itself? So I'm going to go around here, I think, and uh, drill out a few of these rocks. Oh, we got ourselves another bee over here. What's up, bee? Yeah, stupid thing. I hate these stupid things. They do give honey, though. Ooh, I found some. Yeah, that's cool right there. Okay, so I'm going to mark it right here. And it's right on the border, too. That's actually really nice. Uh, we're going to mark it here. There we go. Cool. Finally, with an exclamation mark. Sweet. 
I'm going to dig this out a little bit. We're not going to go crazy mining. I'm going to bring back what we got from here and see what we can make. Uh... All right, time to get home. Well, guys, I'm just looking at the clock here, and wow, that's been a long episode. But we got a lot done. We finally found a uh, coal vein. We got our weapons and stuff switched over and upgraded. Uh, we got a lot of our base repaired. And now I can build a whole bunch of uh, wood log or uh, steel logs to replace that, and we have wood for days. So, much accomplished. Anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button, let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay classy, everyone. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck. And I go... Yeah, I go... Yeah, 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 I go... Good boy.